In a far off land, there once lived an old shoemaker who had only one son, and he was stupid and would not learn anything. So his father said, Listen, my son, I can't get anything into your thick head. You'll have to leave here. I'm sending you to a famous teacher. He should do better than I can. The son studied with his master for a year. When he returned, his father asked him what he had learned. I have learned what the animals say, father, said the boy. To think I've been saving my money for years so you can speak to animals. You will have to study with another master. So he was sent out for another year of study with another master. When he returned, his father asked him, what have you learned? The son replied, What the birds sing? His father was furious that his son had again wasted his time and money. So he threatened, I'll send you to a third master, but if again you learn nothing, I shall no longer be your father. When the year was over, the son returned to his father's house. What have you learned? I have learned what the frogs croak. Those masters are charlatans, said the father. No, they can only teach what one needs to learn, father, said the son. Well, if you need to learn about dogs and frogs and birds, you had better go and live with them. And the father threw the son out in a rage, ordering his servant to kill him secretly. But the servant had pity on him and left him in the forest. After some time, the sun came to a land where huge packs of ferocious dogs roamed the countryside, frightening the people. Indeed, men were being killed and eaten every day by one or other of the packs. The situation was so bad that people talked about nothing else all day. I wonder if I can help, thought the shoemaker's son. So he hid himself in a small thicket and waited. That night, a pack of dogs stopped to rest just nearby, and he overheard them saying, Soon we will have our revenge for the tortures we have suffered at the hands of our cruel human masters. We attack the town at dawn, said a great fierce Alsatian. The sun stepped out and immediately the dogs fell on him. But stop, he said in dog language. I'm your friend. When they heard the language, they lay down in astonishment and fear. No one wins a war, and maybe I can help you, said the son. And he became their translator, and made an agreement between the dogs and the people that they should live in peace, and dogs should never be beaten. He lived happily with them for a while, and then he heard that there was to be a great contest of magic in Rome. He felt drawn to the contest, but was so happy with the dogs that he could not decide what to do. voice interrupted him. You should go to Rome without delay. A great future waits you there. Have no fear and remember you have friends. He looked around for the speaker and saw it was a frog who straight away jumped into the water and swam away.
The shoemaker's son set off for Rome without delay. When he arrived on the outskirts of the city, he went to an inn where everybody was talking about the contest and learned that for some reason the contest was specially difficult that year. Many good magicians had failed even the first tasks and had died or been wounded. The young man felt a little fearful at these tales, but remembered the frog's prophecy and had faith. The next day, he presented himself to the scribe who recorded entrance to the contest. The old man laughed and told him to go home and enjoy his simple life, for he wouldn't live more than an hour if he entered the contest. But he insisted, for he felt an inner voice telling him not to turn back. So he was accepted and found himself waiting by a large door. The door was locked, but there happened to be a spider crawling up the wall. He spoke to it and it unlocked the door for him. So he stepped through it. 